GPS has revolutionized how we travel. Before we'd consult a map, plot our route, and drive, usually needing a co-pilot to navigate. If something went wrong, road closure, accident, or something else unexpected, we'd need to pull over and remap from our current location. But now, with GPS, we get turn-by-turn -turn directions announced to us, using real-time traffic data that automatically reroutes us, making sure we have the best possible trip. Podcast analytics are the same. Without them, you're just guessing about your best path to grow your show. But good analytics can provide you with real-time data on your show's performance, allowing you to make adjustments faster. And with RSS.com, you get industry-leading, state-of-the-art, cross-platform analytics. Our analytics dashboard provides you with easy-to-navigate audience insights that you need to grow. You can identify peak listening times, popular episodes, and audience hotspots. With the data at your fingertips, you'll be able to make informed decisions to boost your podcast's reach and engagement. Let's look at some quick facts. Number one is you get real-time data. You get live updates from all across the globe. Number two, you get cross-platform insights. You track your orbit across all major directories like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And you get audience demographics. You can learn the location of your listeners and the device they're using to tune in. You can use this information to make better decisions about your show. So now let's take a look at the brand new cross platforms analytics here at rss.com. All right, let's take a walkthrough of our cross platform analytics here at rss.com. To access these analytics, you can click on the analytics tab towards the top of your podcasts page. Okay, so we have three tabs here, overview, episodes, and comparison. Let's walk through each of these and check out the data that you have access to. So first, overview is your show's key metrics over the last uh, downloads over the last 24 hours, 30 days in all time. We also have the rolling average subscribers. While it's not currently possible for podcast hosts to get the actual subscriber or follower numbers, we have some math in place to estimate the number of followers or subscribers you have based on the immediate downloads within a certain time frame for the last several episodes. So we're always trying to calculate our best guess at the number of subscribers that you have. Scrolling down, we have the downloads. We see the last 14 days, but we can also do 7, 30, 90, and 180 here. So you can see over time how many downloads your podcast is getting. We can also see apps, directories, and browsers. And I should say that whenever you see this little eye icon here, it'll give you, it's a tool tip. So it'll give you a little extra information about what you will get from these. Uh, this is your uh, apps, directories, and browsers. It should be noted that this doesn't include your YouTube channel. They don't make that data available to podcast hosts. Knowing that, you can see all of the other apps and directories that you have here. We also have the top five cities. So we do our best to calculate the actual city that your podcast is being downloaded in as well as country. So you can see that for us, we have a very US centric audience here for our podcast. And then you'll see a, a heat map of downloads by location. Again, this is going to be, every, uh, this is the last 180 days for us, but you can see uh, and you know any of these intervals, 7, 14, 30, 90, or 180. You can also zoom in on the heat map so we know that we're getting a lot from the US. So if we dig in deeper, we can kind of see Dallas has some, uh, but the Washington, D.C. area is popular. 
Uh, and then the area right here in uh, looks like, you know, Canada, right on the border of New York is also pretty popular for us. One really cool feature that I like is the downloads time and weekday. This is a heat map showing your unique downloads by weekday and time. So as the tooltip says here, the darker the color, the higher the number of downloads. You can see that it looks like on Saturdays at 9 a.m. we is the darkest. So maybe we want to try to publish our new episodes around then because that's when our audience is most actively looking for those episodes. So we want to put it in front of them so that it maybe if we're publishing on Mondays, Monday's not a very good day for us and we won't want new episodes to get buried so we can publish closer to when our audience is most active. Then we have platforms and devices. So you could see here that most people are listening just by a little bit. Most listeners are listening on the computer versus mobile. There's also smart speakers and device. So again, this is helpful to understand your audience, right? If we know that they are mostly listening at their computer, they're probably listening during work, or maybe they're trying to figure out something for the, in our case for their podcast, right? But if they're listening on a smart speaker, they're probably listening while they're doing chores or, or milling around their house. Uh, and similarly with devices, we have our devices here. So it looks like our audience is mostly Android phone and Windows computer. This could help with things like advertising or how we position our show, the things that we talk about on our show, right? Uh, if, um, if we do have a lot of people listening to our show, Podcasting 101, from an Android phone and Windows, com Windows computers. We could maybe do an episode on how to leverage Android and Windows for your podcast because there's a lot of stuff on using Apple, but there is seemingly less stuff on Android and Windows. So knowing that information can help craft our content as well. And you also see the data quality here. So we want to be transparent about how we are... Um, staying uh, as accurate as possible with our stats so you can learn a little bit about the invalid downloads and things that aren't getting counted and how we are figuring that out. So that is the overview tab. If we go to the episodes tab, we will see similar data sorted by episode. So the first thing that we'll see here is our episodes how long and how many downloads we can sort by newest or most downloaded. So we could see our most popular episode. Uh, our most popular episode is the secret to a good podcast, giving your guests room to speak. And so we have this list of downloads or episodes. And then if we want to click through to view details, we can see the latest for the, this episode specifically. So Again, we have the crucial stats under downloads, uh, 24 hours, 30 days, and all time. And then we have that same drop down list, 7, 14, 30, 90, and 180 days, how the downloads curve looks for this specific episode. We can see the top cities for this episode as well as the country. We have that location heat map. Look at that. This looks like it's uh, almost exclusively the United States, which we can see. I mean, we can see here, but it just hits different when we're looking at it on the heat map, right? So uh, really interesting stuff that we're seeing here. So that is the analytics per episode. And again, you can sort by newest so you can uh, view each episode, right? So this ep this episode, for example, is much more popular worldwide and uh, and we can see that on the heat map here as well. So really interesting diving into these analytics. I'll also note that you can export this data as a CSV. So if you want to bring it into a spreadsheet and run your own stats on it, we make all of that exportable and available to you. And of course, this will keep going until we run out of episodes. So the last thing I want to highlight here in the analytics dashboard is the comparison. So we can compare two episodes. So let's look at our latest episode with the uh, the one that is the most popular. So I know that your guests room to speak. 
So we can see here that uh, 90 days, we see seven days after release, 14 days after release, 90 days or 30 days after release and 90 days. This is this is different from the other drop downs, but we can kind of see how these episodes perform over time. And you can see that it looks like at the seven day mark is really when this episode, uh, our The Secret to a Good Podcast episode took off. So if we look at 90 days. Uh, you could see that there's a dramatic difference in the growth of these two episodes. So uh, we can see kind of how, again, each one is performing. We know that this is the most popular one. And so we might want to make more content like that. Maybe we want to compare uh, the latest two episodes, right? If we compare the latest two episodes, you'll see that they start off very similar, but there's a point around the 42 day mark where uh, the all in AI in podcasting episode starts to take off a little bit more than the journey episode. So having this information to compare, you can compare your best with your latest. Uh, you can compare the two most recent and what these will allow you to do is say, okay, I can see overall in the episodes tab how my episodes are performing by most downloads. But what about if I want to look at two episodes, two recent episodes, is there a way I could have positioned one better, right? Maybe you have multiple AI shows, right? Or multiple episodes on a, di on a similar topic and one is doing way better than the other. You can see that growth over time and say, all right, well, I positioned this one slightly differently. Uh, this one got a boost around this time what can I learn from this data to help grow my show? So that is the overview of the cross-platform analytics here at rss.com. Lots of data for you to consider as you look at how you can best grow and position your show from the downloads over time, your rolling average subscribers, to locations. Another great thing about location, right, is our top five cities. One is Washington. So if we're thinking about doing a meetup, like maybe a listener meetup, we know, hey, Washington is a great place to host this because most of our downloads come from there. So lots of stuff that you can do with this data all inside of your rss.com account in the analytics tab for your podcast. And hey, I should mention one more thing before we go is if you want to learn more about our analytics, if you want to understand exactly uh, how downloads, plays, streams, and listeners are counted, how often the analytics are updated, understanding city level data and more, you can head over to our knowledge base to the analytics section. I will link that in the description for this video, but we have lots of information on these analytics because we want you to have the best possible show and analytics are so crucial to that. Explore your podcast stats like never before. Our intuitive analytics platform turns complex data into easy to understand visualizations. Discover which episodes are engaging your audience and uncover listener patterns and preferences to fine tune your content strategy. Think of them as your personal GPS for your podcast, or as we like to call them here at rss.com, your podcast's mission control.